should any driver ever turn over all of their driving responsibilities to a computer? I don't think so. Why? I think this is a very bad idea because, it, you know, think about it. Do you turn over all of your financial responsibilities to your bank or do you watch your own checking account? I mean, I, I don't think that you want to have a situation where a digital computer does what a human computer is supposed to do. You've got to have a you got to have oversight, and I think the human computer has to be able to oversee what's going on. And if it's there's going to be risks that can be assessed quickly by the human mind that can't possibly be assessed by a computer because the programmer cannot make software that will think like a human being thinks. So human beings think in the abstract, and computers do not. I remember Volvo having a, uh, um, a big media uh, um, blitz to come out to look at their new automatic braking system and they, they had an 18-wheeler, they had a driver coming there and there was no one driving the vehicle and the car was supposed to stop on its own. What happened to that to, during well, that test? there was a crash. And uh, they even had a, a, a simulated pedestrian and the, the, the vehicle was supposed to slam the brakes on and it hit the pedestrian. So and these systems, autonomous systems are at least that? in their infancy and I don't know if they're ever going to grow up. Um, I'm afraid that really the decision making process is too complicated for a computer. Are they going too fast? Well, if you look at the failures that we have with airbags. I mean, an airbag system compared to an autonomous driving system, just think of how simple it is. It only has one job to do. And that is, if you're gonna bash your face in on the dashboard or the steering wheel, the airbag has to deploy, okay? They can't get that right. So how on earth are they going to be able to get a system which is as complicated as steering, braking, accelerating, path following, other vehicle avoidance. How are they gonna do that if they can't even get airbags to deploy properly in crashes yet? After, it, after what, almost 40 years of practice. We've just gone and through an election here in our country and uh, Donald Trump was elected the 45th president of the United States and the vehicle lobby has already approached his transition team about preempting um, the manufacturers for autonomous driving vehicles. Take us through this concept of preempting um, liability and if that's a good thing or a bad thing for society. Well, I think, you know, we, we live in a society that is supposed to be a society of laws. I think whether you're a conservative or a liberal, you should look at the U.S. Constitution as a guide for uh, personal and corporate responsibility. And what does the United States Constitution say about people who are injured by defective products or by anything else? You have a right to trial by jury. You have a right to the trial by jury. That's right in the Constitution. So what these folks are trying to do is they're trying to go outside and go around the United States Constitution in order to get a, a free pass on well, making defective products. Well, what concerns me is if these autonomous driving vehicles are so safe, why would they have to have the preemption? Well, they wouldn't need a preemption if they weren't reasonably sure that they were going to fail. 